Hi, welcome back to Colski RC. Today we're going to have a look at the Sim 2 Moment Drone or the 007 Pro, whatever care, name you care to call it. Different names all over the place for it. Comes in this case, true. comes in this box, and in the box you get the case and you get a charger and a little manual. The charger isn't a USB, it's actually a proper one you plug in the wall, very good. Obviously, it doesn't come with a UK plug, but they never do. And then here you have the drone itself in this quite nice case. I actually do like the case. So it's in a case, and in there you get the drone. It's a selfie drone, obviously, you probably know what this is already. So it is a selfie drone, it is only flyable by your phone, there's no controller available for this, or any that I can find, unless you can fly it with the white controller that you can use on the fairy drone. I don't know whether you can or not, you might be able to. It comes with a battery, and this is the other part of the charger. I actually like the charger, I think the charger is very nicely made. You get the drone itself, and obviously the battery. So let's take a look at the drone. So the drone is plasticky. It has a piece of carbon fibre inside here. So this bit inside here is carbon fibre, but the plate's ridiculously thin. I don't know what that is. Not even half a mil of the thought. So the carbon fibre plate there, the rest of it is plastic. It has brushless motors, and it runs on a 7.6 volt 20 900 milliamp hour battery but flight time is about eight minutes so it also has an sd card slot in the back here you can see that and underneath it has sonic sensor and it has an optical flow sensor it has a 4k camera that's controllable by your app by a via a servo it has no stabilization just a single axis gimbal so Looks promising so far, so let's discuss some of the points to it. In fact, let's, before we do that, let's connect you up to the app and I'll show you the app working. So, turn it on. So the light indicator, you probably saw light up there, is actually the power button as well. You hold it in for four seconds and it'll power up. And as soon as it's flat, it'll power up the ESCs. It won't power up the ESCs when it's in your hand, which is another decent feature. So let's go into here and select Wi-Fi and I can't remember what it's called actually it's something like TX or XT something like that there you go XT200 and then the app we need is the Moment Drone app from Sim2 it's available on iOS and Android and then if we just hit the connect button in the centre Say please insert an SD card because there isn't one in here. There's no SD card in at the minute. So this is the image you're getting back to your screen. And as you can see it's no stabilization whatsoever in this thing. Okay, so which is what we need to discuss is its good and bad points. So the good points are the image quality back to your cat back to your phone isn't bad at all. If you can keep the app on. The app crashes quite regularly, but when it didn't, it was a good signal back to my phone it's good for about 30 meters I wouldn't want to go any further with it anyway because of these reasons so one of the big reasons is the app so if we go into the controls I can't remember how to get into the controls as you can tell I fly a lot it's just um, well, let me just go into here so you this is how you do your calibrations and you can set your camera settings on here. If we go into here, you can go Japan mode and USA mode. I float in Japan mode, in other words, mode one. We'll just come back out of there. There we go. So as you can see, the app looks something near decent. I cannot remember how you get controls in there. There you go. So there you controls. Here's a big problem. So it doesn't do that. You can't just fly it like that and it's fluent. You have to click it. So you click it to move forward and you click it to move back and you click it to turn and you click it to turn and you click it to bank. It's awful. It really is horrible to control. Which wouldn't be too bad because it's a GPS drone and you think, why don't my Chris stays in the air anyway? No, it doesn't. This thing will not hover in one place to save its life. It's all over the place. And the fact that it's got no stabilisation in the camera, what you saw on the app, which is that, 
But if you can see the app, you see it move around when I'm just moving the drone very slightly. You'll see the app. That's what your picture looks like all the time. Because this thing will not stay like that. It's always moving. It's always got some kind of movement in it. And because there's no stabilisation on there, it obviously isn't great. The higher you go up in camera ratings, because this does do 4K, you do 4K, it's unwatchable. 1080p is sort of watchable, but you've got that horrible shake all over it. This is a selfie drone. I've flown 20 quid to 30 quid selfie drones, and they're much better than this. This might have a sharper camera, but what's the point in having a sharper camera if it actually doesn't do anything? So there its main weaknesses, and its main weaknesses are bad. The fact that it won't hold its position in the air because the GPS is so inaccurate and it's got optical flow and a sonic sensor blow my mind that it doesn't hold better because it doesn't even in a calm day and the fact that the camera doesn't record anywhere near decent enough I don't see how anybody would want to buy this thing. Can you hear that noise? That constantly comes from it as well, that ticking sound, I don't know what it is. It's really annoying. <laughs> so, they're, they're its issues, and they're not little, are they? They're, they're big issues for something like this. I reviewed the, um, I can't remember what it was called, the Fun Snap Idle a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago, probably now. Uh, much, much better than this, much better made. The build quality was a million times better, the camera's so much better, and it flies superb and you get a controller with it which you don't get with this so much better than this similar flight time the only downside to that one it was very noisy but outside it's absolutely fine when you're flying outside so i've had sim 2 products before so it's my own fault really isn't it so i had a sim 2 dragon from fly pro a couple of years ago it was a two axis gimbal phantom beta apparently and it used to fold up into a case but you clipped the legs on and you had to put your gimbal in so it sort of folded up but it took you forever to set it up you may as well have just carried the big drone in the first place it flew like a pig the camera was bloody awful on it and it failed on me a few times so that went got sent back and then we've obviously had the debacle of the sim 2 fairy drone i haven't put a video up but if you watch hundreds of videos up on that thing if it flies for a few seconds and then it'll just fall down to the floor it varies when it's going to do that it doesn't have no rhyme or reason to it but you'll also see some reviews where it flies absolutely superb you make your own mind up about if they're real or not but i've also seen a couple of reviews on this where it's fantastic in my opinion this thing is a piece of junk it really is as good as the rest of the sim 2 products which are awful so I don't think it's gonna. I don't think you're gonna be surprised until you avoid this thing like the plague. Do not buy one. I'm not putting a link to purchase it because there's no point. Also, obviously, I've flown this, and what I normally do is I fly straight away and film. But I didn't. I flew this first. So I want to see what it was like. I didn't film it. I've no intention of filming it. So you're not going to get any flight footage because I'm not going to go back and waste my time to be honest because it is that bad. If you want to see the flight footage, there's plenty of videos about with it on. But I am honestly not wasting any more time on this. So. Avoid it like the plague. I'm sure some people will probably put in the comments, I've got one, it's fantastic. Well, you might have had better luck with yours, but I just do not like this thing. So, if I hope, it, hope if you've been looking at this and you want to, you were thinking of buying it, please don't. There's so much better about for this kind of money. You're going to get a much better drone than this for your money. It's going to come with a controller that's just far better self. Because this thing... It has got no controller and it looks like a selfie drone doesn't mean all of the drones won't do selfie work they will the, the gps drones will hover better than this thing and they will do better stabilization if you buy a uni breeze second hand you'll get one for this kind of money or you'll get a new one for not much more far better than this zero tech dobby far better than this and they're just two that i'm naming off the top of my head that are far far better than this so save your money keep it in your pocket and buy something different. Have a fantastic day. Thanks ever so much for watching as usual. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.